everyone, it's Tom Kradzer with another Rockstar Minute, and you got to see this. So the cannabis law has now passed its final vote in Parliament. It's going into law, and the Ontario government just spent, I have to show you this because you're not going to believe it, just spent $650,000 on the branding for the Ontario Cannabis Store. Take a look at that logo. I'm not sure if you can see it on the computer screen or not, but $650,000 on branding to come up with Ontario Cannabis Store with that as the logo. So that's our tax dollars hard at work. But more importantly, I think what everybody should know about is in Ontario, here's how it's going to work. The federal government has now passed this into law and they've left it up to the provinces. They've given the provinces eight to 12 weeks from about today. It's gonna to get royal assent, I think today, the time we're recording this or tomorrow, right about right now. Um, and from th that point forward, they get eight to 12 weeks for every province in Canada to come up with its own provincial regulations. So in, in Ontario right now, there are some already. If you go to Ontario.ca and Google it up, you can find the cannabis legislation. And the minimum age is gonna be 19. You're gonna be allowed to use it in a private residence or on your in your unit, um, if it's an apartment building or on the balcony. Um, if you live in a multi-unit building like an apartment, it's gonna depend on the rules of your lease. And this is where it gets really complicated in Ontario because in Ontario, you're allowed to smoke in a rental unit as long as you're not disturbing the peace of anyone else around you. So does that automatically mean that applies for weed and marijuana and cannabis and that kind of thing? And the province of Ontario has to come out and kind of tell us that that kind of stuff, or we're hoping they do anyway. And then there's a lot of questions about, well, you know, if everybody's allowed to grow four plants because that's the federal limit, they're saying everyone can grow four plants in their own unit. Um, what happens to utilities, who's paying for utilities, who, who's not paying for utilities. And this might be a small amount of utilities, but you know everyone needs to know that there has to be some clarity around this kind of stuff. So we have eight to 12 weeks for the province of Ontario to let us know what's gonna happen. In the meantime, they are gonna open 40 stores here in Ontario called the Ontario Cannabis uh, Store. What was it? I already forgot, the Ontario Cannabis, let me see it, store. Um, and they're gonna open up 40 um, almost uh, imminently. And then by the 20, year 2020, it looks like they're gonna have 120 stores in Ontario or something like that, where we're gonna be able to buy it. You're gonna be able to uh, hold on you 30 grams of marijuana or about one ounce of recreational marijuana. Um, and that's everything for now. So until the province of Ontario comes out and makes some more decisions, real estate investors and landlords really don't have much to go on and we're all kind of in standby. But at the federal level, this is passed and going into law in Canada. So we'll stay tuned on this. We'll give you updates as we get them. We'll probably be bringing some um, legal experts on our podcast to talk about this and further. But that's everything for, for now. Until next time, your life, your terms.